Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hotpoint TVH-M80 vented tumble dryer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the tumble dryer, some of the features and benefits that it offers, and really why it's one that we do really well with. And also at this time of recording, it is one of the most popular tumble dryers on the market in the UK. So let's have a look. For a lot of people, the tumble dryer is considered almost an essential kitchen appliance especially if you live in a flat or a house where you can't just go and hang your washing out very easily. Also, this time of year, well, I mean, this is December when I'm recording this, so clearly you're not going to have the option to go and hang your clothes out very easily because it's very cold and wet. So having a tumble dryer can really help. But what you need to think about is venting of the hot and moist air that's coming out of the tumble dryer. So for a lot of people, they've tended to move over to condenser dryers. Now the main advantage of a condenser is that you normally have a tray at the top here. Um, on most dryers it's at the top left, some of the cheaper dryers it is at the bottom. But on a condenser dryer then most of the time the water collects at the top. And it does have the convenience that you just go and empty the water out when it's full. With a vented tumble dryer this is slightly different, this still uses the traditional vent hose, I will show you the hose in a bit. So really before you buy any tumble dryer is to decide on the location of where it's going. And the main reason I mention that is if you live in say a block of flats and if there's nowhere for it to vent out then I'd recommend getting a condenser dryer because all of the water and everything is self-contained within the dryer itself. Whereas if you live in a house where you've got say a garage or a shed that you can put this out into then that's okay. Uh, the other thing to consider is if you have already got a vented tumble dryer where you've already got a hole in the wall with like a, a permanent vent kit fixed through then this one will be okay. Uh, what I do try and avoid is I do try and say to people if you are still one of these customers that has the, the vent hose coming out and up and out a window or if you're trailing a hose out going through the back door then I try to try to avoid that scenario um, I try and look at, you know, if that really is an issue, then I try and look at, say, a condenser dryer. Uh, but for some people, they have already got the vent hose uh, actually through the wall. Uh, and because that's already in there, then something like this will be ideal. So as it shows on the front here, this model has a maximum load of up to 8 kilograms. Uh, we are finding that load sizes are gradually moving up. Uh, so whereas a couple of years ago the most popular vented dryer that we were selling was probably a 6 or a 7 kilogram, now we are moving up in sizes so we're onto an, an 8 kilogram and as I say this is one of our most popular vented dryers that we sell. Uh, the main reason for that is because people are moving up in washing machine sizes as well. Uh, so again whereas you know if you go back quite some time, say 10-15 years then a lot of people were buying 5 or 6 kilogram washing machines now we're into the realms of 8, 9, even 10 kilogram washers as people tend to be washing more. So I would always try and recommend getting the capacity of the tumble dryer the same as capacity of your washing machine. So if you have got an 8 kilogram washer then try and go for an 8 kilogram dryer as well. Especially if you're going to do a full load in your washing machine then take it out and put it into your tumble dryer. There's nothing worse than going for say a 9 kilogram uh, washing machine and then going for a 7 kilogram tumble dryer because it will just take so long to dry. So if you're after a tumble dryer where you've not got the fancy gadgets and gizmos, uh, then this is probably the one for you. Uh, this uses something called time drying. Uh, there are other dryers on the market called sensor dry, and they will actually uh, sense when the clothes are dry. Uh, but this is uh, fairly standard technology. And as it shows on here, it goes up to 140 minutes and you just rotate it depending on the time and then that will count down. Uh, you've got this here, so this is normally a cool drying. So first of all this option is used to cool the clothes down. So if you've held something on for an hour and if you took it out straight away then it will be pretty hot. So this last 10 minutes is used as a cool down time. Uh, also what you can do is some people actually use this just to freshen things up. So if you've had something in the cupboard for a while it doesn't necessarily need washing but uh, just pop it in here just on the last 10 minute cycle and that can really help just to sort of get some air through the clothes. So on the left hand side here you have got the high and low heat so really depending on what you were drying uh, you have got some times recommended over here so for example if you were uh, tumble drying the standard cottons uh, 
Uh, so if you're doing a full load, then it's recommended between 90 and 140 minutes. Uh, it's got some times over here. So for synthetics, then it's recommended to go up to a maximum of three kilograms. Uh, on acrylics, then up to a maximum load of two kilograms and just really giving you some average times. And for acrylics, they recommend to use the low heat option. Uh, so on here, as well, it's a pretty simple button. So you've got the, uh, when it's pressed in, that's the high heat. And then when it's out, that's the low heat. So very simple. And then on the right hand side here, we've got the start button. So once you've selected, so if you wanted it on for, for example, for a hundred minutes, and if you wanted it on the high heat setting, so for example, if you were doing a, a full load, 100 minutes, high heat, then all you do is you just press start and that will just count down. So to open the dryer, it's nice and easy. You just got a nice easy grip handle on the right hand side here. And then once you open it, the door does open most of the way back. It's not quite 180 degrees, uh, but it does go back pretty far. Uh, what I am pleased about is that Hotpoint have carried on with the metal hinges. Uh, some of the budget tumble dryers are going towards plastic hinges. Uh, and they don't last. Um, I'm just pleased that they've stayed with the metal hinges. Uh, that can really help because, you know, as as the a lot of these appliances can be outside, say if they're in a, a shed or a garage, then you know weather conditions may not be ideal as if it's sitting inside. So having things like this can really help. Uh, as we go inside, it's got a nice 29 centimeter porthole. So getting the clothes in and out is easy. Uh, on the inside, there isn't a huge amount of maintenance to do on this tumble dryer, but you have got the fluff filter. Uh, that is recommended to clean, ideally after every load or every couple of loads. Uh, really depends what you've been drying, but just keep an eye on that because that will affect the performance. Uh, it is the sort of thing that if you don't maintain it, then you could get problems with the dryer, uh, not drying properly. So on this tumble dryer, this is actually a reverse tumble dryer. And what that means is that it will rotate both ways. Um, it's quite rare nowadays because a lot of dryers are only single direction and they actually use the paddles inside to do the rotating of the clothes. Now, Hotpoint have come up with something, uh, some technology called anti-aging technology. And what they mean by this is that these paddles are shaped in this way it's not a standard shape of a paddle. And what this is designed to do is to protect the clothes. Now, you can find that some clothes, when they've been in the tumble dryer, uh, mainly things like jumpers, you can get like bobbling on them uh, after a time. And that's normally down to how they're dried or sometimes how they've been in the washing machine. Uh, but they use this, as I say, it's technology called anti-aging technology on their paddles. And this is just really designed to protect the clothes try and show you the other one so that's the other paddle that's around the other side so one of the first things you should check once you've decided that you want to buy a tumble dryer is will it fit in the space now clearly that's a very important factor uh, as far as the width and the height they are pretty standard so 85 centimeters high and just under 60 centimeters wide so they tend to be pretty standard which is great the main thing that can vary is the depth and I say the reason I say it can vary is because the, the actual dryer itself, so if we were going to the front here, you're looking around 50 centimeters. If you're going to include the door, then you're looking around 55 centimeters. Now, the, again, the reason I say it will vary depends on where the vent hose is going to be situated. Now, the reason I say it will vary is purely down to the vent hose. Now, this is the vent hose that it comes with. Now, hot points have changed this, so several months ago, it used to be like a, a flexible design, and now they, they've come up with this. Now, it's a, a metal design, and they did it as a rolling change, so you might find that you might even buy one of these, and it has one of the older flexible designs, rather than the metal one, which this is coming with on the newer ones now. Um, I suppose we have mixed reactions with this kind. It's not quite as flexible, uh, as some of the older designs uh, but hopefully this should be better uh, we are finding that a lot of external vents whether you've got say a cooker hood uh, in your kitchen uh, or if you've got say a, a fan in your bathroom uh, that's, that's taking all the hot moist air outside then a lot of them are going towards this design 
So I suppose it is a good move from your tumble dry because the, the the air that's coming out is is hot and quite moist. So um, I suppose I'm quite pleased that they've gone to this design. So I'll just show you around the back of the tumble dryer. Uh, it has got the instructions on the back here to show you how to do it. Uh, but you have got the Jubilee clip and then you put the vent hose on there like that. And the reason I said about the depth of the tumble dryer varying, because don't just look at the uh, the overall depth of the tumble dryer itself. Clearly, if you've got this on as well, then that does increase the depth of the tumble, tumble dryer quite a lot. Um, I've just had a measure, and from the very front to the very back here, you need to allow around 75 centimeters. So if you are going into an area that has a, say a standard 60 centimeter worktop, then there is a very good chance that will, this will stick out a bit. Now, as with a lot of hot winds appliances, it comes with a 10 year parts guarantee. Um, basically what this means is that for the first year, warranty wise, then you are fully covered. So if anything does go wrong, then that will cover a hot winds engineer to come out and sort it out for you. As long as it's not accidental damage, things like that. Uh, but for the next nine years, again, as long as a hot winds engineer comes out and that you pay the labor charge, then any parts that need replacing should be covered by Hotpoint. Now, this is something I always say, have a conversation with Hotpoint beforehand about. Uh, don't assume that they can just send you a spare part out and that you fit it yourself, because that's not how it works. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Hotpoint TVHM80 vented tumble dryer. Please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe on a YouTube channel and leave any comments below. I do always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video. Um, also, as far as the dryer itself, if you are thinking about buying one of these dryers, then just pop a question in the comment and I will get back to you. Also, if you have got a hot point vented tumble dryer, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.